folks. A um, little talk for the uh, studying science and competing in the sixth form. Uh, BTEC course. Always been the choice of people that can't be bothered to do a full A level, so they say. And I disavow yourself of that notion. That is totally not the case. Certainly not with the new wave 2016 BTECs. They were put together by universities, by industries, by school, by other further education offering um, services. The idea being that they want BTEC students to be the best prepared for the next step. Because industries had a part to play in this, they are very much based around um, industrial context of the science that you'll be learning. Now the course that we run is the extended certificate. It's equivalent to 1A level, so 360 guided learning hours over two years and carries exactly the same weight in UCAS points as an A level does. The distinction star is the same grade as the A grade. The merit will give you the same points at UCAS as a C grade in A level and a pass will give you the same UCAS points as an E at A grade at, at A level. So I'm going to take you around um, the course. It's put together with biology, chemistry and physics aspects. In the first year you will study for an exam in biology, chemistry and physics and you'll also complete four assignments which are coursework based. In the second year you'll um, be studying towards a practical exam and you'll also complete another um, four assignments which are based around coursework. I'm going to take you around the physics, the biology and the chemistry aspects in the next couple of shots. Okay, so physics in year one, all about waves and waves in communication. As you saw by the flags up there, there's hardly any wind today, yet down here behind me we've got a lot of movement going on. We'll be looking at, with waves, we'll be looking at things like uh, reflection, refraction, diffraction. Um, so all of these patterns that you can see in the water behind us, that's what we're hopefully we're going to be able to describe and explain why they're there and why they're acting in the way that they are. Okay, so the second part of Year 1 Physics is using our understanding of waves in forms of communication. So here I am, sat at the helm of a boat, Mobile phone in hand uses waves to communicate. Radar relies on waves. Echo sounder or fish finder, again, all to do with waves. VHF radio communicates using waves. GPS systems giving signals from up in space, again, using waves. AIS, automatic identification system for looking at what other vessels are around, again, all relies on waves. Now in, in our first year, we'll be looking at how we use the waves and the properties of waves to allow us to communicate in so many different ways. Okay, so year one chemistry, uh, we look at things like um, atoms, bonding, structures, properties. Um, why is that relevant? Well, I think about this stuff. Major passion, fishing, so all the different materials in there used because of their properties. Ultra fin, no stretch new types of fishing lines used instead of the old style okay again our understanding of how uh, materials come together and how we can make use of their properties check this out okay nanotechnology carbon nanotubes wound together to make incredibly light thin strong flexible materials okay so there's those we also rely on things like plastics okay we want to imitate the fish there we go Nice, strong, durable, fake fish to try and catch other things. Lead weights, again, the material or the properties of that, being able to mould it and shape it into the sizes and shapes that we need, all down to our understanding of chemistry. Take a look out here. Awful lot of chemistry going on down here now. 550 horsepower, massive great lump of iron there, lots of different plastics, lots of different metals being used, even down to the insulation so it's not so loud when it's running. All down to our understanding of how and why things bond together and the properties that they have and that's where our chemistry knowledge in year one is coming from. Okay so biology year one, looks good doesn't it? Uh, all about cells, cell specialisation and cell differentiation and structure related to function. Okay, here we've got 
best part of 700 kilos of lasagna, a uh, flight response animal with a brain the size of a walnut. Um, people find pleasure in riding these. Anyway, um, what we'll be looking at is things like if he sees something and reacts to it and wants to spook and shoot off, how does that message get from that little walnut thing up there all the way down through all these different cells and tissues, a little while up, all the way down to these things that make him shoot off? Right, how do we end up with things like hair, right? different types of hair? His eyes look totally different to any other part of his body. Lots of skin, lots of muscle, lots of fat, huge amounts of bone, tendon and ligament, all in there. Okay, so trying to get science outside of the classroom, we'll be looking at cells, structure, function, specialisation, how they work and why they work the way they do. So there you have it. BTEC Level 3 Applied Science at Coombe Dean School. Four modules there spread over two years. Some of it is externally examined in the form of a written and practical exam and the other half of it is done by way of coursework. You've got an amazing team of dedicated science teaching staff here at Coombe Dean. Um, put us down as one of your cho choices alongside any of the other sciences and uh, we'll do our very best to get you the grades that you need for your next step in your education.